Hi guys, I'm not really sure why I'm commenting on this because this debate between hijab and wood, between a doctor David Wood, a Christian, and Muhammad hijab, a Muslim, on, on the topic of Tawheed versus Trinity, I, I was just one thing and that was disappointed. I've seen both of them do better. And whether we're talking about one plus one plus one equals one and or one equals one equals one, it doesn't really matter. For me, it was two adults arguing whether Cinderella or Snow White are better. So I found the whole thing quite quite childish. I mean, I've showed on, on numerous occasions now that hijab is quite dishonest and quite disingenuous and quite primitive. So basically all he could do is criticize Christianity. I don't think he's ever going to debate somebody like Christian Prince where he knows he's going to lose horribly. Now, Dr. David Wood has a, has a PhD in fairy tales of the New Testament. And what hijab is doing, he just tries MMA tactics. Okay. So he, he, he boasts that he, you know, he intellectually slapped Dr. J. Smith in, in, in the trailer. But he didn't. All he managed is to mimic the movements more or less successfully. Now, he challenges Dr. Wood as a major Islamophobe, but then doesn't say anything about it. So all he can do is criticize Christians and criticize the Trinity, and that, that's what he does. He dives straight in in the debate without any intro whatsoever. He says, Mary has an entire chapter dedicated to her, so what? And then he claims David does three fallacies, the two quark with the straw and the red herring, but he doesn't demonstrate this. So I don't really understand what the point of this entire debate was. It's he says there's no trinity in the Bible, there's no trinity for 300 years, that the Holy Spirit is independent from any scholar. And so what? He fails to understand that Christians are not so tied to their text, as is the case for Muslims, as is the case for him. Because for him, it's a catastrophe if something is not in the Quran. Or if, if I point out one of the many, many mistakes in the Quran, the inconsistencies, the contradictions, for him, this is a disaster if the text has this. For a Christian, it's not. But for him, it's all about winning. It's not about an intellectually stimulating discussion. It's about winning. And that's all that we see here. He bickers about the usage of some words, and it, it really is cringeworthy because when he runs out of arguments, we get to hear him sing people to death in a karaoke session. Recite some Quran because I've done with this guy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in chapter number 19, verse number 31. Now, I have no idea why this was only done on the Jobs channel in a live uh, stream. What somebody like Ali Dawa was doing is also unclear. I don't know if he's just there to hold hijab's hand. All we saw was theatrics, trash talk, and there was nothing intellectually stimulating or anything interesting going on. It was mockery. It was arrogant sarcasm. It was rude. It was sophistry. Tawheed was never, I don't know, there was never a case made for Tawheed. All we got in my eyes were just irrelevant points. The Muslim crowd was rude and raucous as usual. And the debate, excuse me, was not who could speak more Arabic. It was divisive. Now, what did impress me is that um, David Wood went from the Old Testament to the New Testament in a coherent manner. He explained it, how the Trinity could have happened and why it was there, but he just couldn't really answer that. Now, it, remember, it's ridiculous. Okay, it's, it's just as ridiculous as Muhammad flying on a on a what, flying donkey or horse or something. But at least it was coherent and it made sense. So the whole thing was, in my eyes, was just a disappointment. I didn't see anything that I, I just got bored. There was nothing stimulating, nothing really that that got me going. So I don't quite understand all the hype, and I would love to see both of them in better form. Now, if we go on crowd control, if we go on who, you know, had had the most effect with the crowd and, and who managed to get them stimulated, and that, then he job won, hands down. I, I don't have any beef with admitting that. But from, from an intellectual point of view, from actually making a point, there was nothing there. And then David Wood, 
I don't know, he was wooden, <laughs> pardon the pun, but I've, I've seen him more um, animated and, and really fired up, which I sort of missed here, which is a pity. But then the topic wasn't great, the execution wasn't great, all in all, a miss. Thanks for your time. Maybe we'll have better luck next time. Cheers.